Hi guys, this is Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer. Welcome to you all. In this video, I'm going to take a look at moving from something like this, plain, ordinary, to something like this, uh, more kind of visual impact, as it were, much easier to read, much more legible. Uh, um, you can get your message across to maybe a colleague or a client, for example, with something that looks like this, rather than, as I say, something that is pretty plain to say the least. So how do I go from this to this? Well, I've got my formatting de demo sheet here that I'm going to use to illustrate some ideas that will uh, give your worksheets much more impact. Column widths, row heights, typefaces, alignments, number formats, the various things that you can apply to a worksheet for more impact. I'm going to start with the column widths. Click and drag and highlight columns A to uh, D. And I'm going to double click between the C and D to get what's called a best fit or fit widest entry. It can look neat. It can look rather uh, untidy, for example. Uh, it, but it's, uh, it, it's often, I think, um, personally a good starting point. Um, something to work with. I will then move away from it by columns A and D. Click, control, click. And just widen column A a little bit because of course column D is also selected. It too will be widened. So those two columns are exactly the same width now. Same with B and C. I'll just widen columns B and C. Just a touch for example. I might come back to that uh, a little bit later on. But it's a pretty good starting point. For example, highlight rows 1 through to 19 and increase just a touch, a pixel or two, increase the row heights. You might feel that's a little bit too high. You can always go back to a best fit with a double click and then maybe try again, as I say, maybe just a pixel or two. I'll leave it like that for the moment. Looking okay. You might decide that row 1, because it's the headings, is going to be a little bit taller so than the rest. You might then decide to kind of space things out, make row 2, which is our first country, a little bit taller, a little bit higher once again, for example. And to pull these headings away from the first row of data, I'm going to middle align. And I'm going to make them bold to make them stand out. And I'm going to bottom border as well of the various different border styles available. A nice simple bottom border. Borders are very, very useful for kind of separating out various um, sections, various areas, various parts of your uh, of your worksheet. Click away just to check it out. Looking good. It's coming along. I mean, there's still quite a bit of work to do, of course, but you know, it's a good start. These numbers, I'm going to click and drag and highlight. Or of course, you can use your keyboard. You may know uh, various keyboard shortcuts, of course, to make a selection like that. For example, just use my mouse there. Those cells are have a general format, typical um, Excel default. Drop down, choose more number formats. I'm going to go for the number category. Tick or check the thousand separator. Reduce it down to just one decimal place and click OK. Of course, there are other ways to do that. I'll click and drag and highlight column B and C again and just increase them uh, the, the width of those two columns just a little bit more once again. Coming along, looking good. Again, if I compare that to this, I'm sure you'll agree, got much, much, much more impact. It's much, 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 much easier to, uh, to interpret, to read. Uh, a main heading kind of across the top, I'll right click over one, row one that is of course, choose insert. I will merge and center these four cells because ultimately I want a kind of a main heading at the top. So select four cells there, A1 through D1, merge and center. Caps lock is on, uh, I'll leave it on for my main heading, European population data return or enter on that, maybe a bit of an increase in that particular row, uh, higher again. Um, what shall I do? Well, what about a, a little bit of an increase perhaps in the uh, type size, make it bold, and maybe a middle alignment for example on that cell as well, all those four merged cells. And again, just click away just to have a look at the, uh, at the result. So far so good. Maybe a uh, bottom border here. Again, borders quite nice to kind of separate out various areas, particularly your headings and your kind of subheadings that we've got. For example, so that's my main heading. I've got some subheadings in here. Uh, with, again, as I say, it's just a simple bottom border to separate out these uh, different areas, different parts of the worksheet. So it's coming along quite nicely. I'm sure you agree this. Uh, got a bit more work to do there, um, but I'm going to leave it like that for the moment. I'm just going to go back and compare. So there's the unformatted version of that particular worksheet and there is the formatted uh, version of it and again I'm sure you'll agree 
uh, it's got much more kind of impact there. As I say, I'm going to leave it there. Um, uh, there will be other uh, work to do on that to take it further again. But that's it from me, Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer. And um, good luck, take care, and hope to um, see you back here in the future. Bye bye.